became interested in engineering from a very young age. Uh, my dad was an engineer in the automotive industry and he introduced me to the industry at a very young age and I just grabbed a hold very young and I've always known I wanted to be an automotive engineer. I was introduced uh, to Formula SAE back in high school and I had been striving to join ever since then. So when I came to Kettering, it was an immediate choice that I would be joining the SAE team. I came to Kettering for the co-op, the engineering program, and SAE program. Um, I never even touched anything high performance up until college. Never touched a go-kart, never did anything like that. Uh, showed up at Kettering and met these guys and was like, hey, this looks like a real fun time. Let's get together and let's build cars together. Went through a tour through the garage and I was like, oh, this is pretty cool. I want to do this. It's a very competitive program. As long as uh, the newcomers had the passion to learn and to work on the car, then it was very easy to jump in and get involved. Getting involved in SAE was very easy. Show up to meetings, get involved, show interest, and you're on the team. Once I came here, started seeing the SAE race cars, and eventually got to drive them and help build them. And that's how I started to see that race cars are actually really cool. And then I just got into racing that way. The FSA uh, season is basically split up into four main components. Uh, we have the testing phase, design, uh, manufacturing, and then competition. We design, build, and race our own car from scratch against other schools. You learn how to use the different machines too, so it's not just Okay, you can, you can design something great, but can you actually manufacture it? Can you actually say this is how you manufacture it and build it yourself and then compete against other people to see how well it's built? That to me is another section of the engineering that a lot of people don't think of, because when they think of engineering, they just think of design and can you design this? The season of Formula SAE is just chaos all the time and rushing and rushing and rushing and waiting. So you rush, 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 and you design a car, and then you rush, 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 and you fabricate a car, and then you gotta rush, and you gotta wait, and then you test a car. And that's the whole season, is just chaos. We design, build, test, and compete a race car, and it, it goes far beyond that. It includes so much beyond just the building a race car. It's so much of a project management, uh, design, uh, it involves many people skills and many things way beyond just your average like engineering projects in school. As a freshman I helped build some of the parts that went on the car, sophomore helped design, and now junior year and one of the lead designers, so very easy to get involved. Uh, taught me a lot of skills that I wouldn't have otherwise, such as leadership, uh, such as being able to work with others, as well as the engineering aspect of design and testing. Basically, once you see it happen in FSAE, then you can apply it to the classroom. I've definitely learned how to ask for help, and it's really helped me in the classroom also. All the SAE teams, the reason why they were created is to make college students better engineers by the time they graduate. And by being a part of SAE, you can make a better engineer and a better individual. FSAE will greatly impact my future, mainly due to the experience that we get here. Uh, we are fortunate as Kettering students that we have both the school aspect and the work aspect and Formula SAE just takes that to a whole new level of experience and learning.